A Bay Area mother was sentenced to 50 years behind bars in the death of her son. Cherise Stinson was 21 years old in 2018 when she killed two-year-old Jordan Beliveau. Today, she changed her plea to guilty. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty is at the courthouse where Stinson was sentenced today. Christine. The sentencing came down from courtroom six in the fourth floor of this courthouse. Today, we were just feet away from Stinson, her mother, and the Beliveau family, all who were visibly upset. I do want to apologize to the Beliveau family for the pain that I have caused them. Tuesday morning, Cherie Stinson pled guilty, entering a disposition agreement. The judge moved her down from a first degree to a second degree murder charge. She still faces another charge for falsely reporting a crime and agreed to pay the Largo Police Department almost $28,000. In September 2018, Stinson falsely claimed a man attacked her and kidnapped her son, prompting a three-day Amber Alert search. Stinson later admitted to hitting the boy, causing his head to hit a wall. An autopsy revealed Jordan died from blunt force trauma. Stinson left Jordan's body in a wooded area near the Largo Sports Complex. This won't bring Jordan back. We can only hold his memories. Stinson's mother, Mary Washington, pled with the judge to lessen her daughter's time. I would love the opportunity to get a chance to hold my baby again, to be able to fix a dinner for her. Stinson was sentenced to 50 years. I will walk with my head held high. Stinson thanked her mother and son, saying she's a changed woman and that this experience set her free spiritually. For a while, I was so angry and bitter before I came to jail. And now I'm free mentally. I may not be free physically, but I want my mom to know that I am free mentally. Stinson has served two years of her 50 year sentence. Reporting live at the Pinellas County Courthouse, Christine McClarty, eight on your side. And Christine, she was pregnant with another child when she was originally put behind bars, right? Do we know where that baby is right now? Yeah, absolutely. So we spoke with a spokesman for the foster family who's in the process of adopting that little girl, and we're told it's the same foster family who took care of Jordan before his death. Christine McClarty, live at the Pinellas County Courthouse. Thank you.